Sammy Board to continue the case for the family. Lord Speaker, fellow students and members of the University of the Third Age, the relationship between the caregiver and receiver is the most important ingredient in the delivery of care for our elderly and vulnerable, and there is no substitute other, other than to make this caring relationship revolve around the family. We will impose a non-accountable, faceless state authority over a loving family member at our peril. The family should be at the very heart of any debate about the provision of care and support. The Beveridge Report, founding our welfare state, was published 70 years ago last Saturday. Even though it was dismissed by the Chancellor of the Exchequer at the time, Sir Kingsley Wood, as, quote, an impractical financial commitment, please take special note of that, it came into being in 1945, and it contained a particularly important guiding principle, I quote, the welfare state should not stifle incentive, opportunity and responsibility that would discourage an individual from providing more than the minimum for himself and his family. And now look where we are. We find ourselves in a culture where the default position is to look to the state for everything and the position of the family is threatened again. We shouldn't be able to just go online and order up a personalised state funded care package. This is not www.thegovernmentwillbailyouout.com. Absolutely not. As the gap between the cradle and the grave expands ever more, did you know that one in four babies born this week will statistically live till they are 100? We cannot escape the fact that social care costs are going to rise meteorically. Despite our protestations, we will all get not just old, but much older. And why should we look to the state to be financially liable and to come round twice a day and smooth feed us? Why is there this total disconnect we have between the expectations of our social services and what we ourselves are willing to pay for them? This has got to be bridged. We must revise our expectations and take greater financial and personal care for our own families. The state may provide services for collecting my rubbish, paving my roads, stocking my libraries and building my schools. But if the Barnet graph of doom is to be believed, exponentially exploding social care costs will prohibit local authorities' expenditure on one of these basic services as soon as 2030. I don't want the rubbish collecting state enterprise to be responsible for what happens in my family. My parents did not abandon me when I needed them, and I will not abandon them in their hour of need. I want to be the person responsible for caring for my parents. I want to be that person because any fulfilled and thriving society has family at its very heart. Of course I am going to need help. Establish resource centres, daycare assistance and provide some deal not inspired tiered funding. Yes please, encourage the development of care homes that can be made corporately accountable and train care workers to be proud, absolutely, but channel this through the family. Don't accelerate the meltdown of an already damaged nuclear unit by imp imposing a tsunami of further state interference, taking away another responsibility and another part of the glue that holds our families together. Lord Speaker, please don't take me or my family out of this equation. Thank you, Lord Speaker.